Ugh, annoying. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Happy Thursday. I'm bummed that this is in portrait instead of landscape. I just didn't get on quick enough to allow my phone to pick up the new setting, but here we are making the best of it. Okay, so happy Thursday. I am coming to you from New Jersey with some lunch in hand. Um, I've stopped by a health food store that is by the grocery store and they do really good um, sandwiches. Hey Adam, how's it going? How's your day? And I got the sandwich for each for my mom and I to split for lunch. I hope these are whatever, they're going to be fine. Oh, so good. I love the pickle sandwiches. So they do like a sprout and pickle sandwich. That is just incredible. And because I am watching my carbs, so much fun. Um, Cause a test that I was supposed to have yesterday. Hey, Steven, how's it going? So glad you're joining. I was supposed to have a glucose test yesterday and it was my own fault. I scheduled it for the wrong day. I scheduled it for next Wednesday and we're going to be out of town. So no luck with that. So I am watching. Hey, Rowan Holland. How's it going? How are you? So, oh, so annoying. Okay. So uh, this uh, orientation lock is annoying, but I'm going to make the best of it. Sorry. <laughs> so the appointment that I was supposed to have yesterday got moved to Friday, which is tomorrow first thing this is my mom's kitchen so you can see that okay so I am getting a knife so I can cut the sandwiches in half they each have half so I got one sprout and pickle and one avocado and cheese and we're gonna split them so and then we each have a salad does anyone else have this thing I like to eat I prefer eating with plastic or wooden utensils because I don't like the taste of metal. I'm not like super picky and I know plastic, some plastics are just not healthy. So actually this looks really good. This um, avocado and cheese looks really good. So I'm gonna cut some in half. That's what it looks like. It's on whole grain bread. So I don't have any plastic utensils. I haven't been like that. I mean, I haven't thought about that in a while. Metal versus wooden or plastic. Because I just, now I just do what's most convenient. But I used to really prefer plastic utensils. I don't know why. I, again, because I don't like the taste of metal. Interesting, right? Okay, so Per the title was moves to increase your income, action steps to increase your income. Because I've been thinking about this a lot lately. The whole financial independence um, push. I say the whole financial independence push. The financial independence push that I've been on for the past three years and not made much progress at all. So this week really just alone has been very interesting because I feel like I've gotten a lot of comments and a lot of feedback that have been very thought provoking. And that's honestly one of my favorite things about having a channel and being active on a channel. There's plenty for her. Oh, I took a seltzer and I wanted to make sure there were some left over for my mom if she wants one. So just this week, I started doing live streams. Hey, Anthony, glad you're joining the bunch for the stream live. And hello to anyone watching on the replay. So now that I started um, back on the live streams, really enjoying it. And these comments have been great. Um, again, very thought provoking. To from the poster who said that he believes that any working American can achieve financial independence in 10 years. So sweet. Um, to the people that have agreed or disagreed and just the comments on financial independence uh, tactics in general. 
has been really interesting um, because again, thought provoking, they've made me think, let me adjust this. Okay, my workspace for now, crack open my seltzer. I'm drinking lemon, just lemon seltzer from Lidl. I don't, it's just something to drink. Um, I have this great salad. Sip. Look at that. So, like, uh, uh, where to start? Okay, let's start at the top. So, first of all, financial independence. How do I define financial independence? How am I defining that? So I'm defining financial independence as enough money in the bank where the interest thrown off from that principal is enough to cover your monthly expenses. And that's just your monthly expenses. So for me, that'd be about $3,000. So housing may or may not be included in that depending on your situation. I mean, yes, housing would need to be included in that. But that's financial independence is not financial freedom. Financial freedom to me and maybe i'll you know correct me if there are other like published definitions i guess that's okay i have an allergy to nuts and i'm just trying to i hope there are no like nuts in that that'd be bad um olive oil garlic salt pepper dried oregano Hmm. hopefully that's it in the dressing dressings are can be treacherous So financial freedom to me would be the freedom to do whatever you want, the freedom to travel whenever you want, the freedom. I mean, kids, schooling is a separate, yes, they are different. Exactly. Yes. So Anthony, which one would you put first? For me, I put financial independence as being like the baseline, what you would need to survive. And financial freedom is for me, one step above. Um, Can you make the media? Sorry, I'm I'm making updates as usual. Media channel. Sure. Oh, what is this? This is wrong. So, someone had asked that in a comment, and I that kind of made me think about it. So, financial independence is just enough to not not worry about being tied to a paycheck to cover your monthly expenses, otherwise known as FU money which I don't have at this point. Um, Unemployment, sure. Ooh, yummy. Mm. As if my mom gets home, I might cut this early and go hang out with her. What in the heck? I don't know. So weird. This is not what I wanted. Okay. This is not the file I wanted. All right. So. we are, I am aiming for financial independence, which is, again, just enough to cover basic expenses. For me, that would mean putting away $40,000 a year, <laughs> which is currently less than I take home. <laughs> So, and I guess I'm not including work contributions in that because right now I have like a 12% um, automatic deduction for my paycheck into my 401k. So I'm putting away that much. I would need to step it up. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Sylvia A, the million dollar benchmark for retirement is unrealistic for me. In 40 years working, I made 1.5 mil. Yeah. Exactly. We're just making it work with what you have, Sylvia. You and like 95% of the world, right? 95% of, at least everyone who's close to that age that I know. I'm just making it work, man. So, Sylvia, I hear you. My number is actually 750,000. Not a million. So, 100% hear you on that. So funny. <laughs> I'm like, I was just really on our 
team as being very um, thorough and follow up each. Turning higher, but it's 27K versus May 36. Um, May has more days. April. Oh, sorry. April. So, um, yeah, exactly. We just make it work. And here's the other thing. Somebody else left a comment. I actually want to call out this comment. Mm, do I? Not really. Because this person is absolutely right. And I understand that. They said that financial independence, especially with um, young children, is, yes, uh, Daryl, a 12% savings rate is a good start. That's better than most of America. Sure. Um, Anthony, the financial independence, the investment over expenses. Hold on, Anthony. Let me get back to your comment. Um, your comment is here. Let me switch to my wallet life account. Um, and let me put this on mute so I can see what you guys are saying. Anthony, you're saying financial independence, the investment income covers expenses, but the key is to have an active income to pay expenses. Yes. You can get to financial freedom. Yes, absolutely. That is a strategy, Anthony, 100%. So, um, yes, as far as financial independence versus financial freedom. And let me, I can't open two. I probably could open two YouTube um, accounts. Could I? We'll see. So somebody left a comment saying that financial independence in 10 years is unrealistic with kids because something always comes up. Yes, try to increase the savings rate annually. Yes, I have that auto set to auto um, to do that automatically. Mm, so good. It was me. That was a sunflower seed. Hmm. Meaning I have to opt out of it if I don't want to increase my savings rate, and I just do. So next year it will be 13%, which is awesome. The goal is to get to like 50. And I'm just making some ed edits to my one o'clock meeting PowerPoint. April. We're not playing. Okay. Um, nice. Okay. Excuse me. Actually, let me go to my own channel. Financial independence isn't re isn't achievable in 10 years. What did this person say? And again, I know that they meant well. So oop, let me stay off of that. Um, oh, man, it's going to make me sign in. I don't know what that is. Because something always comes up. And this is the part that got me with young kids. And I've seen that. Yes, it does. Um, yes, Daryl, awesome. Increase your savings rate next year. That's the goal. Whew, it's uh, it, it's doable, but you just, it's, you got to plan for it. So increasing my savings rates. Oh, so going back to financial independence is unrealistic with young children because something always comes up. Yes. And this is, this is my calendar. I'm flipping the month. It's a My Little Pony calendar from the Dollar Tree. This is Enjoy the Ride. Backwards, you probably can't see it, but that is what it says. And I just thought, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of something always coming up and not having enough. I'm sick of having a balance on my credit cards. I'm sick of it. I'm sick and tired of it. I need to make more money. I am going to make more money today, starting today. So this is my gosh darn it. I am changing. Yes, Dave Ramsey would call it a sick and tired moment. My, you know, this is over. So what am I going to do about that? So my step for today is to create a blog post specifically with affiliate links, listing all the tools that I use to make money because I have no affiliate links on my website and I have affiliate links on my YouTube channel. I, I don't know why I'm not connecting the two. I'm just sitting on my butt doing nothing. I'm like, why? I don't know why. Sick of it. Mm -hmm. 
so annoying. All right, guys. Oh, okay. Client discussion and discussion. Until the new Google tactics have shaken out a bit more. Okay. Um, did another comment come in? Let me see. Yes, um, Anthony, you're saying it's doable. It does not matter what comes up. The investment will take care of the life risks. Trust, trust me, to max out investments, you know, have an emergency since forever but you can always do your investments. Yeah, same here, man. I am, but Anthony, you're single. Are you single, Anthony? Do you have young children? Not an excuse. Absolutely not an excuse. I, I feel like it is possible, even with kids. I just need to get off my ass and work, to quote Kim, Kim, Kim K. <laughs> I'm trying to just forget about my investments and not use them as an emergency fund. So tempting. Hello, um, couponing with Grace. Hello, how are you? So glad you're here. Um, so updates. I know, P well, Grace, you're so kind. I know you'd asked about a registry. I do have one. I will get one up. The, the goal is by July um, to have that up. And... Um, which is very, very, very kind. Um, Anthony, the one mistake you would say is when you started the 401k just to get the match three years later, you did try to max out all the accounts. Yeah, start the 401k to, to get the match. Yes, you can still do it. You can still do We'll see. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. I know. I'm coming into this. It's like coming into this. But in this season, I'll say naive. But I am naive. But I am, and I know that. I know that I have no idea what's ahead of me. I also know that I'm doing, like, I'm working to maybe a quarter of my potential. That's always been my story, and I know I've talked about that a lot on this channel. But I'm... Oh, no... Mm, or clients mom just passed away it's so sad she had had dementia Oh, it's just awful. Um, really sorry to hear. But the the prayer was that she wouldn't suffer, and that's kind of that's so switching tactics, but not really because end of life. I don't want to say succession planning, but end of life for sure is something that people that can that it's a transition that can cause financial um, challenges, certainly. So. End of life is something that I'm thinking about right now. <laughs> hey, Anita Virgo, what's the update? We're hanging in, man. We are, I've hit my get off my butt and work moment, which I've hit, I've hit a couple times before. What's different about this is that we on a timeline, man. <laughs> my baby daddy's baby's coming soon. <laughs> we got three months, three months to go. Well, hopefully just two the rest of this month and then two more <laughs> so i have not bought one thing i have not bought one thing <laughs> like, nah. we'll see again I, my husband's uh, really good college friend has kindly offered to throw us a shower at the end of july so i'm really excited for that and hoping to use that as like a deadline to get my butt in gear but like i don't really i mean 
Sure. Did you manage to meet my goals so far this month? That is a good question, Andy. So as far as goals go, and this is something else I looked into as far as monetizing the website, I am using the Project 24 framework um, to give mark markers. Uh, you're hitting that moment again yourself, Daryl. I hear it. it. It's multiple times, right? I imagine that's just a multiple sort of the process of waking up. I do, um, Andy. <laughs> um, one of your foes, your employer, Roland Hollins, you froze your employer's 401k contributions. It took the difference to invest. I wouldn't advise it, but so far it's worked out. Um, yeah, it has. <laughs> My goodness. Yes, it has. Uh, Roland Holland, you'll probably contribute more once you get a bit more. <laughs> I mean, dude, you're doing better than the market right now. You're doing way better than the market. Uh, yes. So my goals for the month, and that's that's interesting. So um, Andy, I had mentioned earlier, my goal, you're not pregnant, but you're <laughs> Andy, you're adorable. Um, yeah, my, my husband's got, got some sympathetic issues going on too. I was like, oh, my back really hurts when I get out of bed. He's like, yeah, me too. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Um, so yes, my goal for today is writing and posting a blog post, listing all my affiliate links and having both of the SEO and the formatting lights turn green. That's my goal. Um, cause there's, I use a plugin that kind of shows how you optimize. Um, SEO and format for performance on a website. So that's the goal. The rest of that goal, very interesting. So within three months, I want my website making money. That's that's what I'm hitting. Um, just a continual kind of process. In terms of renewing one's own commitment to financial health, which right now, if I had to grade myself financially, one to ten, it's my level four moment. I hate it. I hate it. Because I was at a job once and the big thing was um, grading yourself. Like, how would you grade yourself? And then I asked the question back to my boss and I was like, how would you grade me in, you know, basic job mastery? And she's like, probably a four. And I was like, Oh, okay. Uh, it was a big wake up moment. Uh, the thing about that job was I couldn't even say it. I really enjoyed working for that company. And I felt like there were times that I did better than others. I just wasn't fully plugged in and I don't know what I could have done differently, what I could have done differently to be better at that job. Um, I know that I'm 10 times better at this job that I have now than I was at that job. But whenever I'm like falling below, below the grade, like it's a level four moment, four out of 10. And I will say it's more about perception. I don't, that I don't feel very good about how I'm doing, but I know I could be doing more. I know I could be doing a 10 and I'm only doing a four. I'm giving about 25%. So get it together, kid. All right. So what does that mean? We're 23 minutes in. What does that mean? So my goal for today, blog post written, posted with affiliate links and two green lights on the SEO values and the, what's the other one? Formatting, I guess. Format optimization. That's goal one for today. Website will be making money in three months. And two, so project, um, project, what is it? Project 90, project 60. Um, oops, sorry, I used to be really self-conscious about my arms. I still kind of am, but I'm just in better shape now. Um, project 24 is what it's called. And the project 24 framework. So I have 54 pieces of content on my site right now. Project 24 timeline. To get to bring in a decent amount, ooh, to bring in 
oh, a dollar fifty, of one point five dollars. Sixty pieces of content. Curry day is making five dollars or more. You should have eighty pieces of content. Um, twenty seven fifty. You should have ninety pieces of content. Right now, I have. Mm -hmm. I think I have something like. 60 tools export, 58 pieces of content. I would say out of those 58 pieces of code, oh, let me sort them. SEO scores, good. Out of those 54 pieces, oh, 62 items of content. Sylvia, if you thought of your day job as a business for you, do you think it's profitable in terms of your time? Yeah, I do, Sylvia, at the moment. Um, actually really good like it's a good deal for me <laughs> like um so of these 50 62 pieces well published 58 pieces of content only one two three four five six seven eight nine of these pieces of content have two green lights in terms of seo score and readability score so I really only have nine items of content that are of any value. So I'm working on getting that getting that up. The end of the month. Uh, so we're going to be away um, traveling for two weeks, and then I'm off the last week. So why can't I get a lot of work done during that time? <sighs> How much could I do? What about 10? I could add 10 new pieces of content to my website. Um, yeah, so that's my goal for the month, is adding 10 new pieces of content to my website. My goal for today is to add one with affiliate links and two green lights for SEO and readability score. Those are my goals. Mm. Roland Holland, uh, YouTube Shorts. Yes. To be honest, I have not taken the time to just sit down. I need to like lock myself in a room for like an hour and learn YouTube Shorts. That's how I would get better at it. I don't really know my way around them at this point. Um, so we would have to see about, I'd have to learn them. And right now, right now, <laughs> say that. I'm learning, um, look forward to it, travel budget shorts. Yes, I know, I'm excited. I am gonna be filming because I'm gonna be deducting the mileage. <laughs> that's, my, that's the purpose of my business, to get my money back from the government. <laughs> this is a home-based business. That's why this business exists. So that, that is a good suggestion, Roland, to learn shorts. And it probably wouldn't be that much. Again, two hours of my time to learn and monetize because people do make money on them, which would be very cool to do. Um, all right, guys, so I'm going to hold for now and go have the rest of my lunch with my mom. Um, Daryl, you're ashamed. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Daryl, you're ashamed to admit. Hold on. Let me get your comment. Um, so it fades from my screen and it comes up over here. You're ashamed to admit that you gave your employer 25% after they cut your pay, 30% and demoted you. The other 75% of your energy was spent on your PhD and building your teaching income, which allowed me to quit. It allows you to quit. Exactly. It's all about making it work for you. All right. Oh, they're all so cool. And you, oh, it's just it's amazing. A PhD with what, how many, how many millions of dollars of real estate do you have under management? It's really cool. Um, but there, I mean, there are realizations at every level, right? So um, I'm getting to the next level. I feel like I, again, I'm at a level two and I'd like to get to a level three. <laughs> what would that look like? That's interesting. That is very interesting. I think I might list out, I'm looking for like papers so I can write these things down. Um, June, list out what levels one through 10 in terms of financial freedom look like. Um, June is 10 pieces of content. Um, bye, Andy. Daryl, you only have 1 million. You only have 1 million. <laughs> well, just you keep working. That million turns into five real fast is what I've heard. Um, Andy, you have to go back to, um, <laughs> exactly. You have to go back to work now. Um, we're not flying. We're driving for both getaways um budget's a little tight over here too so we're, we're going to be driving um 10 pieces of content today one oh thank you anthony you too sending a hug 
Um, Daryl, how long did it take you to get that one million? Well, I guess you've been working on it probably your whole life, right? I mean, I, I bet it takes you less than five years to get the next to triple. I don't triple that. Um, an article with affiliate link. Okay. And then 10 levels of financial mastery for me. 10 years, 10 years, exactly. See, five years. I say five years, you're at 3 million. In five years, you're going to be at 3 million. Five years or less, you're going to be at 3 million. That's, I mean, that's, it's daunting. I'm thinking about that. It's daunting to think about, but it's awesome to think about too. All right, guys. I'm going to end the stream here. I will try to do another stream tomorrow um, with the doctor's appointment. I'm not sure how that will go, but we'll see. All right, guys. So good to be with you. And I look forward to streaming with you again soon. Okay. Bye.